All right, I'm going to be controlling an instrument today uh, with some software over GPIB, HPIB, IEEE 488, all the same thing. I'm going to be using this instrument here. Now this instrument has, uh, this is a Keithley 2400. This instrument has both serial I.O. and GPIB I.O. So we have to configure it. So in the menu, uh, in the menu, uh, there we go. Uh, there's communication. And under communication, you can set it for GPIB or RS-232. So we're going to be uh, GPIB, OK? So make sure that uh, make sure that you're set to GPIB. Now, when you uh, power up the instrument, um, most, most instruments in the lab will do this if they're GPIB controlled. They'll tell you what address they're at when they wake up. And this one says it's at address 24. So it says 4, 488.1 uh, address 24. OK, so now we need to uh, connect it. Oh, whoa, sorry, it's tripped over you guys. So we need to hook up some cables. So in the back, I'm going to be using these uh, weird GPIB cables. OK, so I have, I have my instruments set up. And um, now I need to be able to, at the other end of that wire, hook up the computer. So how do I do that? All right, so you need to have some type of interface box. Uh, I happen to have a ProLogic. Um, this is revision 6.4.1. Anyway, these are about, I don't know, 150 bucks, 200 bucks. I forget what these are. Um, I actually asked my wife to buy this for Christmas uh, <laughs> a couple decades ago because uh, they were expensive. So um, it's US, it's, it converts IEEE 488 to, uh, to USB, okay? And so I'm going to plug this onto the cable. The cable's all daisy chained together. It doesn't matter where you plug it in. I'll plug this onto that, and I'll put in a, a, a USB connection. All right, so uh, my uh, ProLogic is coming into my computer here uh, with, uh, with USB. And uh, now I'm going to change over to um, the computer. Let me get... Uh, let me get uh, screen, screen capture running, and then we'll take a look at things. All right, I'm going to be using a program called uh, GPIB Configurator. And uh, this comes with the ProLogic dongle. It already sees we have something on a USB port, so we'll click on that. It says, yeah, you got your controller there. All right. So I have this thing set up so that it's the controller. You can have it. You can have, configure it as a device, too, but we always set it as controller. Uh, make sure the GP address is the one that you want to talk to. So 24 is the address of the Keithley. And then make sure you have this little checkbox here, which is auto read after write. So whenever you send a query, it's going to automatically read it back. And our query we're going to put in this line at the bottom here. We're going to say star IDN question mark, which is please identify yourself. And we'll send that as, as ah, I am a Keithley Instruments Incorporated model 2400, blah, 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 blah. Um, so now we have um, made sure that we can talk to this device. I could send commands here too to the device, like setting current and voltage and stuff. Um, and uh, I will need the programming manual for the Keithley to do that. So, uh, yeah, let me go find that. All right. So one of the uh, measurement, I mean, uh, commands is to measure voltage. We can say colon measure volt question mark. And there we go. We got some numbers back. One, two, three, four, five numbers back. I don't know why it gave us five. That's interesting. I'll have to look into that. This must be... I don't know. <laughs> um, let's see. What's another... Uh, I can command the... Uh, one. So the... The screen there you can see says 1.5565, and we're getting 1.5565 here as our first number. And I don't know what the other numbers are yet. 
All right, so we can measure, uh, let's see if we can measure Kerr. And yeah, measure zero. Okay, that's good. And uh, we can, this, the, uh, actually the output is on. Okay, so we can turn the output off. I was measuring a battery there with zero current. That's what that 1.55 was. That's a battery. Um, and then let's say um, output off. Um, out. Out P. Off. Send. Oh, there we go. Oh, error ID. I don't know what that was. Output off. Send. Let's see if we can do an on or if it's not very confused. Oh, it's very confused now. Hmm, I don't know what that was. Why didn't it like output off? Anyway, I need to get out the manual and try some things out. But anyway, we are talking to it and now I want to write some Python code. Um, and I should be able to do that now.